I don't even know where my story begins. I was once dead in my trespasses covered in sin. And then I heard the gospel of Jesus which called me to repent. Heart needed a transplant to be brought back again. But I'm broken and I'm hurting and my pain and my soul is afflicted. I looked for answers in the scriptures and found that Jesus wants me to be one of his children. Adopted in his kingdom over the privilege to be loved and disciplined. He chases me so I could be with him when I leave this earth to celebrate and dine with his church, not the building but his people, his kingdom, and free from the things that keeps me from getting closer in my faith. I got to endure and take strides to finish my race. I thank you for grace, for giving me for every mistake. It's like erased and clean slate. New chapter, a new page. Heart is on new things unseen, no longer focused on worldly things. New creature and all things are brand new. Thank you for sending your son for saving me from my old ways. Was once a slave to fornication and masturbation, but now a regenerated man who would never let go of my Savior's hands. His hands is shaping me to be just like him, confessing daily and to repent so my heart has changed. I'm standing in his book to keep me reminded of the cross and what his blood bought. Everlasting joy, no more hurt, pain is lost. David with the smooth stones, how I fought. I find it all with the cost of losing myself and keeping him first so daily I know my worth. Ah. Remember that night just like it was yesterday. Knees bent, face to the floor, crying out to Jesus Christ as I prayed. Shaking the naked back flat, I lay, begging for my soul to be saved. Back into the times that I was pure, and now I'm petitioning to be cleansed from being a whore for giving my body away to whomever knocked on this heart's insecure door. But Sleeping around didn't appease me anymore, and now it was time for me to settle the scores between me and him, and him, and him, and him. And unfortunately, there are too many hymns to count, and no, this is not a hymn because it doesn't have a sweet song or a melody. This is my life. This is true reality. I'm here to let you know I gave up my body for free, not knowing that the price was costly. That night started like any other. I showered before bed, but as I lay there sleeping, the Holy Spirit planted critical thoughts in my head, which woke me up into a sweat leading to what was unexpected next, information that would leave my flesh confused and my spirit perplexed. I can be free, and these sexual spirits can no longer have permission to follow me, Follow me into my bed with fantasies about being with him. Hymns touching me, hymns kissing me, hymns laying with me, hymns penetrating me. Because for each and every physical man that I gave my flesh to, I also gave permission for his spirit to come along too. Hymns, spirits too, stick around after they left to remind me of my daydreams, what hymns was like at night and Moments to relive through masturbation with the blink of my eyes. All I had to do was close them and dreams and images took on real life. The problem is I gave too many spirits permission to stay behind. Not only did I get hymns, but I got hers. The spirits of other women that they chose to bind and now they too are left behind in me. It's no wonder why I thought I was hearing voices and that I was crazy because I was created to join with only one spirit in holy matrimony. You see, physical intimacy, a.k.a. sex, was created by God to expand his kingdom and to be enjoyed, not to be replaced with a decoy looking for affection, that valuable connection many will spend their whole lives searching for. Love. (laughs) Love. 
Yes, it's true. Love will make you do so-called crazy things like send your holy, righteous, innocent, only begotten son to die and take on the sins of filthy, blemished, unrighteous ones like forgive and give grace despite being spit on, beaten, and taking death in our place and even building your church on the rock of the one who would deny you three times to your face. And like Mary J, I was looking for love. Real love. Mm. I'm searching for that real love. I'm searching for someone to satisfy my every need. Won't you be my inspiration? Be the real love that I need. Real love. <laughs> I'm searching for that real love. For me, I was just going the wrong way. Love will never make you trade your most precious possessions for momentary lustful infatuations that will leave you with life-altering ramifications. You see, I gave up my body and my spirit away not knowing they already had an owner. My body and my spirit are the Lord's temple, so I could just say I'm sorry, right? Ask for my purity back. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. You see, soul ties are like shoelaces tied in continuous double knots. They are difficult to untie, and attempting to untie each soul separately will cause frustration and pure insanity. So it's best to cut them off together all collectively. You see, deliverance from soul ties requires the power and authority. Speaking commands to those souls to leave, to return to the rightful owner, he who is the initiator of the fall, who would deceive with temptation and laugh at all the problems he would cause, obscuring God's vision of intercourse and using scripture as a reference source. Be fruitful and multiply. But did he really say it only had to be with one guy? Yes, that's him, Lucifer, AKA Satan. And for so long, I tried to fend him off alone unsuccessfully. But that night, I sought the help of one more powerful than me. Because greater is he that is in me than the one that is of this world. He who is Jesus Christ who can redeem and restore this broken and bruised girl back into the woman God created her to be. Reserved for one man, one soul, one spirit in holy matrimony. And so, the cleansing began. I started with giving my soul ties a death sentence. This was going to be the end of him. No more committing to commit attacks against my spirit, holding me hostage unjustly to my lustful desires just for a quick fix. No more looking forward to the life of being some guy's next hit, leaving me left to wonder after sex, is this it? Because this couldn't be what God had in mind when he gave the gift of sex, is it? You caught me by surprise, your radiance blinded my eyes, and when we get to my bedroom, we're gonna turn on some plies. That's what was said through disguise, I couldn't tell there were lies, and just moments later, we were in the bed creating a soul tie. And now I'm stuck with wise, how, did I get to this state of mind? It's amazing how you can get pregnant without even trying. There's not a day that went past that I wasn't convicted, not realizing that my life was identity stricken. The deeper I got in, my heart was sickened. Tired of the same old one day I was out, five days I was in. Tired of being second best, but not tired of the sin. Love the feeling of flesh, cause at best you were my perfect 10, but I could just imagine God sat and trying to figure out when when was I going to surrender? Pregnant? Pregnant? Oh no, now what do I do? Too late for an abortion, this baby is up to you. So now I must adjust, my lifestyle changed. Time to buck up and settle down and get used to the pain. Pregnant? Haven't figured out a name. Too late for an abortion is what my enemy is saying. It's already growing past time to be tamed. Time to give birth is what my enemy is saying. Dark stretch marks because my shape had changed. No longer comfortable in my size fours. Now I'm shopping at the lane. Lane Bryant cause some weight I had gained. All I could think of is how my life had changed. Time to give birth is what my enemy is saying. Pressed through a hole too small for a size. And when it came out the first thing was I saw was his eyes. It looked nothing like me. But all too familiar, I was identifying with something that was a little bit peculiar. It was more than natural, but a spiritual killer. This was not natural, but a spiritual thriller. It, this isn't me. 
This is not my identity. I gave birth, but not to a baby. I gave birth to a seed, a seed planted long ago. And my lack and my need, I allowed it to grow. I slept with the enemy, got pregnant, and gave birth to sin. Now I'm having flashbacks, and I replant that night over and over again. I shouldn't have, but now I'm too deep in. For a year and some months, I enjoyed what I did. One of the best relationships I had. I loved this kid. Couldn't tell me nothing. Definitely had become my best friend. Best friend? I had someone else beckoning for this position, this role that didn't require an audition, but I couldn't release the suspicion. Will I be okay without? Can I make it without this new invention that has simply become my idol? Going to church, but my heart was so far away from the Bible. Not the book, but the words. His words spoken to me, the words that will speak me out of this false identity. I'm better than this. I'm stronger than this. This, this, you can't have my life. God saved me, not my power nor my might. I want to be done, but I see I'm going to have to fight. Bring me my box of gloves and Vaseline because I'm about to knock you out like a light. No more bondage and fright. I loved you so much, but I knew this wasn't right. I love you so much, but this isn't right. God loves you so much, but this, this isn't right. It's like a doctor performing Lasix. He wants to restore your sight this time. This time is real. It's our turning point. Let's seize this moment. Our time is running short. I think we've run a course, and now I'm ready for the course of righteousness. Ready for God to do his thing inside of us. I love you when I know you love me. And if we're to remain friends, then Lord let it be. But as you can see, I didn't reveal identity. But all this time, it was a she. Hey, what's up? My name is Kendall, a.k.a. Lion Child. Just uh, telling a little bit about my ministry. Uh, it's called Collective Thoughts. It's a collection of, of poets, uh, spoken word artists, uh, rappers, painters, photographers, uh, just giving glory, to, giving glory to God and uh, just to minister to people so we can get the arts out um, in that art form. Shout out to my homeboy B. Thank you for the production and hope to see you soon.